What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, we're bringing you how to actually create a 5M server. I know I've been kind of doing some more how to 5M videos, but I actually haven't done a video on how to actually create a 5M server in 2020 yet. So I know there's other tutorials out there, but they're a little confusing. I've been reading through the comments on them, and they seem people don't know uh, how to do them. Um, I feel like some devs just kind of imply that you should know how to do things, things like that. So I'm going to go through and make a really, really, really simple version of what to do with you guys and really help you guys uh, make your 5M server. This can be more for a local host, but it can also work on a hosting software as well. So we're gonna jump right into it here. So there's a few things we have to do first. So literally the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to new. And I'm literally just gonna go to a folder and just create a folder called server. Right, that's all we're gonna do to uh, actually start off this video. So that's, that's really all we're gonna this is where our server is actually be held at. This is where it's gonna live. Okay, guys. So that's our uh, our starting point here. And um, now we're just gonna kind of continue here. So right here, I have. Uh, so I'm gonna have a link to this in the description. But I have setting up a 5M server uh, document straight from 5M. So with this, you're gonna need to install. Uh, Visual C++ or Distributable 2019 or newer. Um, this is going to be the link in the description. I already have this installed. Uh, most people are actually already have this installed. But just make sure you have it installed. If you don't know, if you don't think you do, just reinstall it. Can't help. All it's going to do is just update it. So uh, essentially, we're just going to be going through this uh, little list right here. But I'm going to take you guys along with me to really just help you guys out and show you guys how to do things. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the artifacts and I'm going to download the latest recommended right there. And we're going to see it's going to say one because I've actually already downloaded this before for my personal server. But the artifacts are essentially, uh, you know, the heart of your server and what makes it actually run. So uh, make sure that you have a WinRAR, 7-zip, WinZip, things like that installed. The link in the description to everything to be shown you guys in the video. So I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to press Control A, just drag it right on over to the server files. Um, this is the entire heart of your server right here being put in here. So that's that right there. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, it says right here to clone CFX server data into a new folder outside your server binaries folder. So um, I'm just going to download the zip. So guys, it says, uh, well, it used to say, uh, yeah, don't use BitClone. You really don't have to. Uh, just do literally what I did. Just go to the GitHub and just create it right there. So, right here. So, CFX Server Data Master. I'm literally just going to drag this into my main directory, just like this guy. So, you're going to see uh, if I refresh, it's going to create a folder just like that within this folder. I'm going to have a, well, I'm going to have my resources, my git ignore, and my readme. Um, so, now. Uh, just to make things a little bit easier, I'm also going to copy this example server CFG right here. Um, this makes life a lot easier. So I'm just going to copy this entire thing right here. Um, so I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it server.cfg. It has to be named exactly this or else it's not going to work. I'm going to go right into it just like this. Uh, my Visual Studio Code is right here. I'm just going to paste. Um, you guys can see I have everything in here. So now we're gonna go through and we're gonna need a license key. This is literally what gives our server life is having this license key. So um, I'm just gonna open this here. Uh, also uh, link once again in the description below for everything that you guys are gonna see me being, everything you guys see used here, the link in the description below. It's gonna take me to keymaster.5m. I'm gonna do the little capture that I just missed. Okay guys, it finally let me in. So, this screen is going to be prompted with. Uh, you need to sign in before getting or managing your keys. Just click on the sign in button. And you guys are going to see here that I have a, well, you guys aren't going to see this being blurred, but I have a few keys here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on register. And now for label, I'm just going to call this uh, 2020 how to server. And now server IP address. Um, if this is a local hosted server, it's going to be your address. If it's going to be hosted through a hosting company, um, you'll see the IP everything in there. 
but for me, this is going to be a local host, so I'm going to do what is my IP address. I can see. Guys, I am back. Sorry about that. It took me a while. I forgot that I had my VPN on, so I had the completely wrong IP. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste my IP in there. Then we need a server type. Um, this really doesn't matter. I mean, um, it's not really a... Uh, Uh, this is really just for 5Ms, um, like, bookkeeping, it really doesn't matter what you put in here. Then just click on the I'm not a robot, then click generate. And now, um, don't give anyone this license key, it's a very important thing, guys, the license key is literally... What, excuse me? Okay, yeah, guys, sorry about that. Um... Don't give anyone this license key because this is what actually, uh, they could have your server, essentially, if you give them the license key. So all you gotta do is you just gotta hover over it and just copy it. And of course at the end of this video I'm gonna be changing my license key. But now in our server CFG right here, we're gonna go down to line 74. Uh, chain, where it says change me, just paste in a license key just like that, guys. And boom. License key. Just like that. So now... The next step of the documentation now says to, uh, we already did that. Uh, okay, that I highly recommend is uh, if you do fxserver.exe, you'll see this is called, so you're going to click allow access. So essentially what this is called, this is called TX admin. I 100% recommend that you set this up instead because it makes uh, managing the server so, so, so much easier. So highly, highly, highly recommend you guys do this. Um, but I'm just gonna close that, then just press, you know, press literally any key to uh, to continue, just like that, guys. So now, before we connect to the server, I'm gonna show you guys a few uh, things when it comes to configuring the server that you should know. So in the server CFG, uh, so first thing right here is these are the resources that will start by default. Um, just you know, kind of go through whenever you added resources, add them in here. Um, script hooks is script hook basically allows you to use your uh your lambda menu, things like that. So zero is disallowing. Uh, one will allow them to allow people to use like lambda menu, things like that, uh, client-sided plugins. I recommend that you keep it at zero, but it's up to you. Uh, note that as well though, that even if you have it set to zero, it does not mean that you know mod menus will always be blocked. There's always ways around this kind of stuff. So if for some reason you want to use archon, uh, when they say uncomment, literally just go like that, and then just put the archon password in there just like that. Uh, for this purpose, though, I'm not using Archon. I, I advise against it. It's not really that good. It's not really that helpful. Um, so tags are pretty simple. So to do a few tags, right? So it has to be inside this quotation. We're gonna do. We'll just do this. And this is exactly what your tags would look like. So you just separate them by commas, just like that. It's super simple, guys. Um, so now the set local. This is actually gonna be setting your. Uh, your, your server's language. So you want to change the root AQ to whatever your language is. So for me, English, United States. Um, they have the examples right up here. Um, just kind of go with whatever you guys use. Um, so now to set the uh, the banner detail and the banner connecting, just uncomment these just like this. And then go to like, you know, like Imgur and then just get the uh, link to the direct image. I'm not going to go through that right now. Because I don't really need to. Um, SV host name, you know, for uh, testing purposes, we're going to call us Jordan's Test Server. Um, this can be the name of your server. So now, uh, nested configs, this is a little bit more detailed, it really doesn't matter. Um, loading a server icon. So we're going to uncomment this and then. We're literally just going to call this, uh, so it has to be a 96 by 96 PNG, so we're going to call this whatever the name of said PNG is. Um, I'm just going to go on to here, and I'm just going to find a random PNG that I have on my computer. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, to resize it, all that good stuff. So what I use to resize things is I actually use, uh, I use my uh, uh, paint on that, it's really simple. But I'm just going to take my profile picture here. I'm going to paste it on my desktop. And then I'm going to open with paint.net. 
guys, link in the description to paint.net. Super simple, super easy. I'm gonna go to file. Uh, I'm gonna go to edit. I'm going to go to uh, where is it here? Okay, so uh, here we go. Image resize or control R. Either one works. So now we're gonna do 96 by 96. Okay. Control Shift S. PFP dot PNG on my desktop. Uh, yes. Okay. And boom, we're done. Now we have the pfp.png here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this right into my uh, my server, uh, my CFX server data master. This is going to get dragged right into here, just like this. So now my server CFG, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to change it to pfp.png. And it's that simple, guys. So uh, the identifier, um, so see my prior video on how to set up uh, permissions, things like that. A link and description to the playlist. So one sync enabled. Uh, so you can only have up to 32 slots with one sync for free. Um, otherwise, you have to subscribe to the 5M Patreon. Uh, uh, more details on the actual 5M website for that. The Steam Web API key is. Uh, I mean, it's useful if you want to use Steam authentication for certain things. Uh, I I will not be setting this up for this video because I actually already use one. You can only have one key, so I'm not gonna set it up for this video. But just know that you're probably gonna want to set that up. See my prior video as well for why you want to set that up and why it's helpful. Otherwise, though, our server CFG is done now. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna launch my FX server.exe, and I'm just gonna kind of show you guys how to actually set up a uh, a TX admin. So I'm gonna go to localhost 40120. And I'm gonna go just like this, so I can see. So 4420. I'm gonna hit link account. Now this is basically just going to. Uh, it's gonna ask for some permissions. You're gonna hit yes, allow. Uh, it might prompt you to sign in. If it prompts you to sign in, just sign in. For me though, I'm already signed in. So boom. Now right here, I'm just gonna set my password really quickly. Otherwise though, we are. Uh, we're getting there for our TX admin now. So now I just set up my password, I'm going to click save. So now it's going to walk you through a little bit of a, uh, uh, so our server name, we're just going to call this 2020 test server, just like that. So now our server data folder is what's going to have our resources and our cache in it. That's going to be our CFX server data. You're not going to see cache yet because we haven't started the server yet, but there will be uh, cache. So we're going to click copy, and now I'm literally just going to paste this right in here. Hit next. So now our server CFG is in the same exact directory, but I'm just gonna do a one more forward slash, then do server CFG because there's no point in going back when we already have it copied. So we're gonna click save. It's gonna validate it. It'll tell you if it's not there. And now I'm just gonna click start server. So my bad. Uh, you don't put quotations here. Uh, I thought you did, but you don't. My bad, guys. But now you guys see here that it's all set up here as well as right here. Uh, it's gonna create a start default bat onto uh, your desktop. This is what's actually going to, if I show you here, it's gonna close this. I'm just gonna uh, just give it a second to close. Uh, press space might have to, but literally, if you run this, this is what's actually is gonna start up your T, uh, your TX admin. So uh, forget what I said earlier. Just do this, and then you're gonna log in into TX admin. A uh, few things I recommend to do in TX admin first. For FX server, I'd recommend auto start and then just save that. So now, whereas I have to actually go into here and click start, um, I definitely recommend to where when you launch this, it'll auto start the server. So now, last step is to launch 5M. So I'm really just going to launch 5M here. And uh, connect to the server. If I remember launches, so there's a few ways to connect. So uh, the one way that you could connect is literally just via your IP and the uh, and the port. The port is three zero one two zero. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a video on how to port forward because it's just easier. So the other option here is if you go to settings, go to interface, uh, enable the localhost menu item. You want that on. And then you can literally just click on localhost, but uh, that, that's all I'm going to do. That's all you guys have to do. Um, or, of course, you could literally just connect by your uh, your IP if you really want to. 
But now here in my TX admin, it's showing me uh, Cheeseburger Man is my uh, my Steam name. If you click on it, you'll see all the stuff for the players, all that fun stuff, just like this. I'll uh, help you guys out with everything like that. Otherwise, though, it, making a 5M server is really that easy, guys. I hope that this video was educational and was helpful to you. But uh, that's really all I got for you guys. See the link in the description for the other How To 5M videos. Help you guys out, help you get your server started, all that fun stuff. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Peace.